Hi, welcome to this video of using Microsoft Excel Solver for linear programming. We are going to talk of production planning. Now, I've named this video as video 4A because uh, we're going to use the transportation algorithm to help us solve this. Um, the three assumptions here. Number one, you know how to formulate a simple linear programming. Number two, you know how to use Microsoft Excel Solver for simple linear programming. And number three, you know how to solve the transportation model on Excel Solver. Um, for Microsoft Excel Solver, you can refer to any of the videos number one to three. For the transportation model, you can refer to the video number four. I'm, I think you can get it from there quite easily. Let's go to the problem. Now, here we have a case of a production facility and the demand for the next five months being given, January to May. The demand for January is 200 units, for February is 250 units, and so on. Uh, production cost per unit in each of the five months is separate. So in January, it's 24 rupees per unit. In February, it's 27 rupees per unit. In May, it is 34 rupees per unit, and so on. Uh, for some reason, the maximum capacity also changes during each of the months. So in January it is 250 units, February it is 225 units, March it is 250 units and so on. You know, in the same numerical we also can have uh, normal time operation in January and full time operation. The capacity can be two parts also, a normal time capacity and overtime capacity. It would be pretty much the same sum. Alright, stay with me. So the first thing that we do is create a cost matrix. So I copy these months, so let's see, to make my life easier, paste them here, and paste a transpose, paste special transpose of these months here. So if I were to use something made in January and used up in January, so these months represent my demand, I go here, merge and center, demand. So if I produce something in January and use up in January, it would cost me 24 rupees. If I produce something in January and use it in February, the cost of that material would be 29 rupees. Primarily because the cost of carrying inventory is rupees 5 per unit per month. And same thing, this would be uh, 34 rupees here. This would be 39 and this would be 44. So when I produce in January and carry it each month further ahead, my cost increases by 5 units. I cannot produce in February and use it in January. So I put some high number here, say 10,000 rupees per unit. Produce in February, use in February, it's 27 rupees. And then it keeps increasing by 5 rupees every time. So I say like this, plus 5, control C, and I paste this formula here. Again, March, I put 10,000 because I cannot produce in March and use it in January or February. The cost of March to March is 32. This would be equal to 32 plus 5, and this would be further plus 5. Um, I'll copy this 10,000 number here. Mm -hmm. Control V because you cannot produce in April and use in Jan, Feb, March. The cost here is production cost is 50. Wow, that's a lot of very expensive production. And the cost here would be 55. I copy this 10,000. And the cost here is 34. Wonderful. So our cost matrix is done. Let me give it a border, right, and let me even shade it a bit so that it looks a little bit more attractive. There's no reason for um, the shading in May, just that, or March, just that it's at the center. All right, now I use this and uh, create one more matrix for my decision variables. I'll do it here. Now these numbers here represent my decision variables. How much am I going to produce in each of the months for what month? The maximum demand 
okay the maximum demand or the exact demand needed each month is 200 250 150 80 and 120 this comes from the first line here and the maximum capacity available is 250 225 uh, 250 and 200 and 225 right the total production in January would be equal to the sum of something that is produced in January and used all over the different five months Control C and I paste the same formula here it would be the same for the demand demand in January equals the sum of whatever is produced in whichever month for January Control C and I paste it here my total cost okay the total cost would of course be a sum product just like the transportation method okay it's exactly same so the sum product of the individual unit costs and the individual units made bracket closed perfect now we have succeeded in formulating our model all that is left is the simple use of solver let's go to our solver and we say that my target cell is the total cost which has to be minimized in this case by changing cells my decision variables these are the cells I can change I add the constraints um, where I say that the total production has to be less than or equal to the maximum capacity of the month add the demand has to be exactly equal to what is required for that month okay we go to options we say we need a linear model and assume men negative all right and then ask solver to solve it for us wonderful we get a total maximum cost of 23,440 rupees so we will produce 200 units in January for January and produce 25 units in January for February and of course we'll produce 225 units in February for February so the total of January is 200 total of February is 250 and thus the same scene would continue where I would produce 230 in March for March as well as April and 120 in May for May to give us the total minimum cost of 23,440. Thank you.